Indiana Jones, maybe the greatest movie hero of all times. As a kid, I really wanted to be like him when I grew up, but that didn't happen. However, I have gained the skills to show you the science behind one of the scenes from the movie Kingdom of the Crystal Skulls. He gets stuck in something that looks like quicksand at first, but it isn't. He calls it... What is it, quicksand? I'm calm. No, it's a dry sand pit. I'm sinking, quicksand but I'm calm. Quicksand is a mix of sand, mud and water, and depending on the viscosity, it's not as dangerous. So, you are likely one of many who has never heard of a dry sand pit. What is it? I will in this video demonstrate what a dry sand pit is and explain how they may have occurred in nature. Remember, it's free to subscribe to my channel, so just get subscribed. In the Indiana Jones movie, we see that air is blown out of the dry sand as they sink into the ground. So that means there was a void in the sand. But how can a void occur in loose sand? In the following experiments, I will model how a dry sand pit could have occurred and also how it could have occurred in nature. To make these experiments that you're about to see, I had to build a model. My friend Jürgen helped me to build uh, the setup with his laser cutter. In this video, you see the laser cutter making the model for us. The setup has a compartment for sand and one compartment for water. A few holes connects the two compartments so that when I add water in the water compartment, it will run into the sand. So let's see how it works. In the first test, we imagine that there is a salt dome in sand. Salt dissolves if water is added and a void is created where the soil was. I now add water and we see that the salt slowly dissolves in the water. This leaves a void in the sand. The void is only temporary because the sand above soon collapses into the void. That is because sand does not have the ability to stick together since sand has no cohesion. So the void in a dry sand pit could not have occurred in this manner since they would have collapsed instantly. My second experiment is a bit more complex. I have a salt dome again since this is one of the only ways to get a void in soil. Above the salt dome there is a clay layer and above that we have sand. So let's see what happens when I add water. The salt dissolves in the water and the clay allows for the void to stay open and the void does not collapse. We can then imagine that if this setup was left for a long time, it would dry out and the clay would form a crust above the void. If this crust is broken, the soil would then collapse into the void and create a dry sand pit. This is in my view the most likely way a dry sand pit has formed in nature. If you noticed, then there has to be a salt dome and a clay layer above, which is very rare in nature. So don't get scared now. You are not very likely to fall into a dry sand pit anytime soon. I would like to think that the most likely name for this could also be a sinkhole just a very small sinkhole in the case of the Indiana Jones film. So, if you like Indiana Jones films, subscribe to my channel, give the video a thumbs up and add me a comment. It's free, get started.